Hello, my name is Jis Matthew with Avaya Backbone Support Team. This video is about how to configure and use internet messaging on Avaya Aura Communication Manager messaging server. Internet messaging is a feature which allows the voicemail users to receive their voicemail messages directly on their email clients like Microsoft Outlook, Lotus Notes, etc. We will see how to administer the internet messaging on a CMM 5.2.1 system. First, you need to log into the messaging administration web page and click on the general options under IMAP slash SMTP admin. We can use either POP3 or IMAP4 protocols for internet messaging. Depending on the customer requirement, you can enable the corresponding options here. I am going to select POP3 here by changing the POP3 client access enable option from no to yes. Once you are done with the changes, you need to save the changes. Now let us make sure that the voicemail subscriber is enabled for email integration. For that, open the subscriber administration and edit the subscriber to whom we are enabling the internet messaging. Here we need to make sure that the MKP message transfer and trusted server access options are set to yes. You can make the same changes on the class of service as well if you want to do this for multiple uses. By default, both of these options are set to yes. With this, you are done with the configuration within the communication manager messaging. Now we will see how to configure the POP3 account on the user's email client. I'm going to use Microsoft Outlook here. Open the Outlook client and click on tools then open the options select the mail setup click on email accounts then select new here you go ahead with the default option of microsoft exchange pop3 imap or http and click on next now you need to tick mark the option for manually configure server settings to additional server types and click on next click next again with the default selection of internet email here you need to configure the user details for your name you can use mailbox number or name of the user email address you can put any email address account type you can select pop3 or imap4 based on your requirement i'll select pop3 here you need to configure cm or the cmm ip address for the incoming mail server and outgoing mail server i am going to populate my server ip address here username you need to enter the voice mailbox number for password you need to enter the voicemail password for the user make sure you tick mark the remember password option here now click on next and click on finish with this you are done with the configuration of email account for the user now let us see how we will receive the emails from the CMM on the user's email inbox. This is one of the email message I received from CMM. Let's open that. Here you can see an attachment of voice.wave file which is the actual voice message somebody left on my voicemail box. You will be able to play back this voice file using Windows Media Player on your computer itself thank you for your time today we hope this information was useful we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at or on twitter at avaya mentor thank you for choosing avaya